All right, all right. Hello, hello, Libras. Okay, Libras, this is the third bonus birthday message uh, in the descriptions where I will link in part one, part two, and uh, the choices. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy, happy birthday. Um, I just wanted to mention, I'm going to say it with this one, hopefully the first way to go, woo, it just went out like that, beautiful, make a wish. Um, the first video was having a little lag getting uploaded, so part two uploaded first, um, and right now part one is still uploading as I am getting this Spirit Allies one, so, and this one is part three, there's so much echo, oh my god. I have like a drum set and it's like echoing or something. Anyways, in this one, we are opening up the Spirit Allies um, with your little Make It Mini uh, or Make It Mini, the mini brands. I got the Wimpy Kid of the Diary. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm saying everything a little flip-flop here. What the heck? Something is a little off or something like this. Hmm. Anyways, this third message in the pick your message i opened up these diary of the wimpy kid september was spotlighted as well as january new year's day um i'm not gonna read out of the little diaries in this one i'm just gonna be unboxing the spirit allies i might get a little message out of the edgar Allan poe and great tales and poems um so in particular Libras, you could be dealing with or have this in your chart, the Capricorn, Gemini, um, maybe Sagittarius. I saw a lot of Scorpio as well. Scorpio was definitely uh, Scorpionic, definitely in that second one. Even a little bit in the first one. Seems more like it was Cancerian. There was a lot of Pisces uh, popping in with this one as well. And Aries. Let's see, is that the ones I've got so far? Libra. <coughs> Goodness. <laughs> yeah, someone does not want you to talk. Maybe you have a journal. Maybe this is about writing down your your journal entries or something like this. I got my Edgar Allan Poe journal here uh, for the Halloween. I brought in my little 222 on the clock. Oh, a little vaccination pin, huh? <laughs> Anyways, um, maybe writing some stuff down with a red pen for some reason. Red is important. Okay, anyways, because we have the red and the green, and I brought in a little candle. I don't know. It, it kind of has an apple cinnamon can smell with the little spiders. I have no clue what's in this book, or excuse me, this book, this allies. Oh, my gosh, something is definitely, like, a little off. I'm going to set this over here. We're going to open this box up and find out. So, Spirit Allies, you guys are the first happy birthdays unboxing for you guys. This is by Jill Pyle and Sydney Batcherit, illustrated by JK, a 60 card deck and book. Okay, let's open this up and see. I see the Libra scales right there. Look at that as I look on the back. So, with the uh, unboxing and birthday messages I usually I'm unveiling it it's new so sometimes it's kind of a review but I do read a story and give you a message things were deep I have to say um yeah but what do you expect it's Halloween time uh right Libras right up your alley so wow I'm gonna take a look at this here New York Sterling 2022 Jill Pyle P-Y-L-E Okay, so what's on the back here is the Black Panther. Ooh, Panther to me is like old soul energy. Mushrooms, connection. Oh, we have a lot of Pisces with this. Libra, 55. And Cleopatra, that's fascinating. When you're in need of guidance, look to your spirit allies for their me their messages arrive in many forms, be it plant, animal, crystal, goddess, archetypes, energies, and cosmic forces. They're ever present and ready to connect with you in the 60 card oracle deck as well as their daily signs and synchronicities. How cool is that, Libras? I didn't even pay attention to see this. This one, I was telling you guys in the very first video, this is really interesting. So 33 is there. No way. Okay, these could be your ages that you're turning, 32, 38, 55. Mm, I can't tell what Cleopatra is, 23, 63, something like that. But um, wow, so I'm pulling in Pisces energy as well. Gemini, Libra, Leo, there is some Leo here. 
Hmm, Leo was definitely seen spotlighted in one of the other videos where you're dealing with them. So when I bring up the signs, right, they could be in your chart or someone you're dealing with, okay? And I did mention that this might really resonate with uh, if you have any, you know, connecting with the spirit allies, even passed on loved ones, communicating through signs and omens and things like this as well, right? Um, wow, so the ravens here, the crow, Edgar Allan Poe, the La Luna Moth, okay? So little Scorpio, of course, as well. The poppies, no way. So there we go. There is the Pisces. Gemini. Wow. Someone could be turning 60. I don't know. Cool. Wow. Okay. Already interested in seeing. So you guys, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. Hello. Thank you so much. Uh, if not, you've probably seen, I'm, I kind of, every month there's a little bit of something new or like working with all the different animals, the crystals, the fairies, the mushrooms, even, um, the green witch Oracle. So if you didn't check out your other videos with the peanuts, uh, that's in number one, that's being uploaded. Like I was saying, number two, it was so long. It was two, two, two like two hours and 22 minutes and I saw the two, two, two for you. So maybe you're also seeing those signs and synchronicities. Um, and this one is going to be three, three, three. I saw like 415, 627, 626. So there was definitely even some Cancerian energy as well. Well, interesting. Well, this is very beautiful. Oh my gosh. You're always guided. So trusting that as well. Look how pretty the back of this deck is. And, um, yeah, see, this is why I'm a collector. <laughs> I, just when I think I have enough, I find a new one I need. And I'm already thrilled and excited about this. Oh, my gosh. Look how beautiful it is. So far, I'm really, uh, really digging all of these new cards. Even the Peanuts one, I kind of mentioned it seems like it might be kind of like a bootlegged or something. It's still uh, a wonderful deck. I'm excited to have it. it it has a little bit different story. Um, and the Monsters Tarot was beautiful as well so far. So, yay. So this is, like I said, giving a sneak peek for October as well for all the different Zodiac signs. And uh, Libras, you guys are going to be the very first one. So check my channel for your October messages. And you can also check your rising sign and moon signs for the monthly messages. Okay, Libras. I got a little bit. I went and remembered to get my skeletons. But check it out. So in the very first one, I showed you some little tiny things. These little cards that were in there. And I didn't realize they were actually going to be loose cards. I kind of thought it was going to be, maybe I'll try and read these. How weird is this? These tiny things. Oh, we have someone maybe looking and stalking or spying. Trying to help them to try and make a decision. They're looking in, trying to gain information to help them make a decision about something. Oh, oh this could be a third party person. Or it's about healing heartbreak. I uh, see the the three of swords here in reverse with this little thing. Hmm. So once again, these have all, I put all the black over here. So we're only going to have clubs and swords over here. So fire and air, right? Okay. So maybe dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. And over there, I put the reds. <laughs> okay. I'm like over there with this little guy. Um. Wow. Let me see what else do I got right here. Anyways, it was kind of neat. I got my little skeletons and I decided to open that package up and just set them here. No way. Yeah. So we got the king of wands. Someone's waiting patiently. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> this is fun. Weird. So I didn't even think I was going to have tarot for you, but it looks like I do a little bit. I am. Um, but like I said, keep in mind, these are all the black cards. So they're going to be air quality. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well, right? All of the air and all the fire over here for some reason. All right. No way. So we have the animal. This I would assume would represent uh, that wild instinct, the fool energy. Oh, I said, I thought I said animal. It says air mind. Air mid. Oh my gosh. I don't even, why can't I read this? My eyes are deceiving me, but then, uh, hmm. Air mid. Oh, this must be a goddess energy. Interesting. So I'll definitely be looking at the book. That's number one in the deck. Look how cool those are, though. I'm digging it. Well, I'm, I'm digging them. What? 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 
pretty. I like this deck. I'm sure there's other readers that have this or something, but I've never seen it yet so far. So the frog, hello, the frog is here again, Pisces. Okay, maybe you got a cross watcher, Pisces. <laughs> the frog be popping in, two froggies. I'm getting a lot of moon sign energy, right? Pisces, Cancer even. Hmm, maybe you have a Pisces or a Cancer moon, okay? For some of you in here. This is about healing, right? Wow, the frog is following us onto this new stage. The fairies definitely come in with me, right? I brought the little cards over. They love the littles, the little things. I haven't even shuffled it yet. I just split it open, okay? Um, let me shuffle these. I almost like, I want to be so careful that I don't make any of this like flick off. Okay, delicate. Let's feel this. Let's feel the shuffle. They're a little firm, but not as firm as, so the, the Monsters Tarot deck so far was very, it was, it was hard. Like they were stiff and it felt chunky. Uh, I mean, I still managed it. I kind of had to split it in half to then shuffle it a few times to get some good shuffles. Um, and I did that for you. Your, your monthly for October is coming up and I'm not sure. Most likely there I'll do one monthly or excuse me, I'll do two monthly. So you can take it how it resonates the first of the month, the half of the month or two different separate messages uh, for different Libras, right? That's kind of how I do it. That's how this year's going. You know, who knows? 2025 moving forward, I might do something different. I, I, I feel like I really want to like minimize them because they go so long and you know, but I, I like giving deep messages and I feel like incorporating, you know, multiple different decks helps um, really clarify and dig deeper into certain things, right? Okay, these are so nice. I'm going to give it one more good shuffle for the Libras for their birthday messages. Once again, happy, happy birthday, Libras. I hope we get a beautiful message <laughs> from the Spirit Allies deck. Oh my gosh, I love this one already so much. Okay, what do we have? Wah! And once again, this is kind of reviewing it. I don't know. Um, I don't know if these read in reversals. They probably don't. Durga. I feel like they don't. I am going to look and see how they come out. The frog is upright for sure in here. Okay, the first one we have is Cactus. San Pedro Cactus, okay. Oh, I don't know if I wanted to. I did watch, okay. <clears throat> I don't know if I wanna go there with this. Let's, maybe I should keep this one in. Let, uh, I wanna keep this one as light as I can, okay? Cause the other one did get a little bit deep, like, you know, making peace with uh, death, okay? The scorpionic energy. Uh, the biggest fear of all for all humans, right? Hmm. There was, uh, yeah, I, I'm not going there. Cause I did watch this other video and in between as well. And it was kind of weird cause it kind of was like tying into some of the tarot of the other videos. Okay. And I, as I do mention, if you, if there are some pass on loved ones during this time, you know, sometimes their messages can come through. Depends on what you're seeking as well and who's, uh, needing the guidance, right? Or, you know, so San Pedro ca cactus. So maybe I'm also going to say you could be turning 36. That was spotlighted. 40, 40 was spotlighted quite a bit. Happy 40th. Now it's all over the heel from here. Actually, you got a few more years before, <laughs> Just before it really catches up with you. Kunzai. Okay. Working with the crystals. This is beautiful, soft love energy. Hmm, 16, maybe one six, Capricorn. And then we have Durga, four. So I do see 416 as well. So dealing with Aries, double time, 416 potentially. Um, nine, four, Virgos, Cancer signs, Libras. Nine, 16, hmm, nine, four, nine, 16, okay. One, two, three, four. So we got these four cards. I'm gonna bring the camera down and I'm gonna lay some more. These ones came out too. Angelite, working with Angelite. 14, 9, 14 and 9, 16. Hmm. Interesting, we're pulling in a little bit of Virgo energy. And then, oh, the very first card, Airmid and the Frog. 
So I'm going to take those ones first. I'm going to look underneath the deck, see what the spirit allies have to say regarding these. And the white buffalo. So the tiny little tarot. Like I said, there was someone looking in, stalking, spying, trying to figure out how to, they're trying to make a decision. They're, they feel stuck in two minds. Uh, it's definitely a king of wands person. Um, maybe they are hoping for healing. Uh, some they feel heartbroken because we have three of swords there too, but it's in reverse, but shows trying to find a way to to heal some type of heartbreak. Um, and they're waiting because the three of wands is still there. Let me grab these two really quick and see what they are. I kind of just sprinkled them out. Okay, no way. So some of you could be dealing with the queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine. Depends on who you are. So like I said, all these are the, gonna be fire uh, here, up in here, up in here. Oh my gosh, it's Sag for sure. Um, I'm seeing they're trying to come out of anxiety or worry, sleepless nights. Maybe there was some anxiety, insomnia, potentially even nightmares or something. But I'm seeing them trying to get out of feeling anxiety okay because it's in reverse this is what needs to be healed insomnia and anxiety nightmares fear okay what's this one doing some yoga potentially stretches okay uh wow being victorious you'll be victorious helping stretch you need it there would i feel like someone felt like something was going on with I feel like someone feels like maybe betrayed, backstabbed. I don't see the Ten of Swords here, but it's definitely going to be in this pile. These tiny, I didn't even plan on doing this, guys. I just, this is, I kind of thought the whole little stack was maybe glued together because it was for um, a little arts and crafts thing, right? And there's tiny cards. Oh my gosh. The tiniest, the tiniest. I don't think I can shuffle those though. My little fingers, I, I just have to sprinkle them out and see what comes out. Yay, this is new, new and fun. Libras, happy, happy birthday. Let's jump into these particular cards to start. The white buffalo, sacred buffalo. This is about healing, compassion, and, and, over, and standing firm during the storms of life, okay? Ooh, I don't know how to say this one. Zizaquidal, Zizaquidal. Mm. I see 112 here. So there is Capricorn. Uh, Aries, maybe 4, 7, 1, 6, 1, 12, 1, 4, um, 12, 11. Mm. Okay, let's go to San Pedro. I'm going to open it up and see. I got Hummingbird. Oh, Frog is first. It's one of the first ones. So we're going to go to the Frog, page 57. So Take it how it resonates. I say when we see numbers, that there's synchronicities there for you, Libra. You know, I'm going to tell you the numbers I see. They could be ages. They could be birthdays, right? They could be nothing if they mean nothing for you. Just if it if it does, then lovely. I see 111 too. So interesting. 57. So I embrace my evolution. Someone could be turning 57. You could be dealing with Taurus energy or Cancer sign. The frog. Out in still water frog no way you guys are not gonna believe this i had no idea so get your damn journals Jer get, I'm gonna get your damn journals this was mom's idea right september so today is the 28th um that's what it said in one of these diaries okay and then about getting the journal. The first one was about his mom getting him a diary or she, he just wanted a journal, uh, right? And the reason I'm telling you is because look at this. It says, your journal prompt is, what has been the most powerful lesson you've learned thus far this year, frog? There's dragon in here too? What? No way. And I, I, I mean, this is so crazy, guys. This is why I continue doing this for real, because it blows my mind. Um, you know, it's beautiful. Edgar's like, this is kind of creepy because he's literally staring at me. Okay. He's staring at me, not even at you guys in the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. You are always guided. I'm going to open something up out of the Edgar Allan Poe. He is a Capricorn 119. 
and I, I did mention this before, you know, um, he was 40 when he passed and it was probably, it was about alcohol for sure, alcoholism or something like that. It's a little actually un, it was just because back in that time, um, they just quickly buried him. They didn't like, you know, do autopsies and all that stuff, but he was, uh, and it was on 10-7, I do believe. Anyways, um, wow. So, how crazy is this? Okay, I'm gonna read it now. That just blew my mind, okay? That blew my mind. Out in still water, frog sits atop a lily pad soaking up the sun. From tadpole to the form it takes today, frog has experienced growth on many levels and understands the importance of each of those stages. Frog knows that you too have learned many lessons, but it is time for you to emerge as the embodiment of your whole self. Representing fertility and the abundance that life can offer, Frog encourages you to bask in the brightness of your own soul. You are full of unique life experiences, so take a moment to embrace your authentic self and leave any expectations from others go fluttering by without attaching to them. You have transformed beautifully into who you are meant to be. Welcome the ripe fruit of life and your next steps with confidence and your journal prompt, right? To take that time to write down, you know, this is reflecting what has been the most powerful lesson you've learned thus far, right? This is definitely about, interesting enough, I'm going to just read this is with this cactus, you know, there's a lot of water in there, right? But they're in a place where it's very dry and so they store water, but they have all those pokies on them, right? The pokies. Hmm. This is about putting up your boundaries, that's for for me it's been about really putting up my boundaries um learning how to let things as well as close the door on certain people places things that you know and and also um forgive but also be firm you know compassionate but firm <laughs> like that like you can this cactus is like survival for people and animals right but and it, it has to go through all these harsh conditions. And with Kunzite there, and this is the same thing about the storms of life. I'm not sure about Durga. This is new to me. It definitely looks like it has some Hindu Krishna stuff with it. Because we have the lion there and we have the the demi god goddess person. Maybe it's not a demi. I don't know. Um, with all the arms. The octo arms. I've shared about how I feel about certain things regarding that and whatever. I'm I'm going to read it and share my thoughts regarding it. And I think there is maybe wisdom to be gained and everything. Anyways, so working with the crystals and stones, you have the angel light and the kunzite. These ones are very, this is about communication, ethereal communication even. Um, maybe some of you want to... Maybe some of you, you know, there's just journal writing, which can be automatic writing as well, and just letting it go, but also journaling these things. Wow. Hmm. Dude. Okay, that's crazy. All right, now I'm going to go to the cactus and see what it actually says there for you. 52. So we're definitely pulling some Pisces. And Taurus energy, okay? So you could be dealing with them or have that in your chart or they could actually be, they could be passed on loved ones or these could be ages. So take it how it resonates, guys, okay? Um, I am stepping into my desired reality. San Pedro Cactus. Standing tall against the sandy background of the desert, the San Pedro cactus reaches to the sky, despite the spines that extend along its whole stalk. Don't let this cactus fool you. Eventually, it will produce large white blossoms that would delight any passerby. Grandfather. It's, this is Grandfather Architect. San Pedro cactus embodies the energy of Grandfather and is all about empowerment and divine love. Let this serve as a reminder to you that no goal or dream is unreachable when you tap into a confident, 
loving vibration and are willing to surrender your preconceived notions and limitations. You must first believe in yourself and secondly, that your desired reality is possible. It's time to shift your perception to see the truth and beauty that is always present. Everything is in divine order, even if it looks messy. You have the power to step into your ultimate reality, one that is truly playful, loving, joyous, and fun. What you may not know is that it already exists. It's just waiting for you to choose it in this very moment. Smile. You got this. Grandfather. Wow. Okay, so this could be the grandfather energy coming through for you with all those different signs. Okay, that's really crazy for me. Um, I do also share. I, I share my, you know, my ancestors, zodiac signs, but beyond that, not much. So I do have grandfather energy as Capricorn cancer sign but i see a lot of pisces they could be gemini as well aries a lot of capricorn cancer sign a uh, cancer sign as well um maybe they're a fire sign even because we have both fire signs on the board with that aries leo sag so take it how it resonates libra um i'm also pulling mother energy grandmother energy um this is so crazy ah initials different things like that it's um beautiful so first and foremost grandfather is watching over you okay yeah, so <laughs> regardless our grandfather is helping with this and trusting that you've got it because you got six of wands right there so maybe you're trying to to come out of some type of fear anxiety or something like that or someone in your energy as well sleepless nights overcoming heartbreak or any type of third party energy that felt um like a sense of betrayal or they could have passed from a heart a broken heart or literally heart issues okay these are all things maybe someone's overcome some stuff like that all right now i'm going to go to kunzite the 16 31 16 and 31 okay so this is for adults only, please. So maybe you have a 16 year old, I don't know. Or we got Capricorn, someone could be 31. Um, oh wait, did I? Oh, the journal prompt, let me finish that. The journal prompt, they could even be a Taurus. Huh. 5236, okay. How can you remind yourself of your personal power? Hmm. Maybe I will, you know, it, since I am a Libra too, maybe I will journal this. I don't, I haven't journaled for a long time. It's like I would get into a zone of doing that all the time, writing down, you know, brainstorming or making lists for dinner, recipes, whatever, to-do lists, you know, um, writing out letters to, even to express things. So if you're caught in your head <clears throat> and maybe it's someone you can't communicate with, or they're passed on or something or you know or it's those if you have nothing nice to say don't say it at all type thing but it's really um bugging you you can still write it out into the world or <laughs> into the world into your notebook I've done this before it's really helped with some people in my life that I have felt were um, really um assholes or something you know like I just it's like I you have to tell the whole story of why I can no longer be in your life or why or you know what I mean even if you don't mail that to them or give that to them you still get it out of your head and sometimes that's better than uh, some things are better left unsaid right but you still have to get it out of your head and that will help you to sleep you can even you know say goodbye to it do a little ceremony because there was definitely about what are you letting go what are you releasing um, you know, maybe it's during, uh, maybe it's during the full moon energy. I'm actually saying it's like the waning quarter moon. I believe the new moon, I believe it's going to be the 10, the second 10 two, right? Um, and something big was going on on 10, nine, apparently. All right, let's go to the Kunzite. Oh, Yes. Kunzite and then Angelite. Kunzite says, I allow myself to experience joy. Wow. 
Kunzite is a pale pink stone that has been used to encourage empathy and compassion. It's also connected to divine feminine energy and the heart. The pink and the green. Okay, I do have a beautiful piece of Kunzite and I feel like, like I said, you guys are setting the setting the stage, setting the, the energy for the zodiac signs for all of their month of October. So um, I'm slowly, I slowly add things to my uh, setup, right? Uh, my uh, display or whatever, how I'm guided. So I don't think, I'm like, do I have a piece of angelite? I think, I blue, blue kyanite is probably the closest thing I have, but I might bring in, so I don't have crystals over here. Um, so this is what I'm being like shown. Bring, you need to bring on some of these crystals. So Check your rising sign, your moon sign. Maybe I'll bring it in for your October monthly even. All right, to so work with Kunzite. Uh, and maybe you have some of these crystals or stones. It's, it's fairly, um, you could get a bracelet or a little chunk of it or something like that. Um, and if not, you know, no big deal. You do what feels right, right? If it's something you're drawn to. All right, I'm going to go to Angelite first because it's right there in the book. So we're jumping over here. Um, I'm seeing this as an angel light. So some of you, it's definitely a grandfather archetype. Maybe there's something about the cactuses, you know, uh, somewhere in the desert. If you notice, there's stars all over this card. Nighttime stars, nighttime stars, 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 stars. Clouds here, ethereal. Yeah, whoa. Okay, I'm all, yeah, whoa, okay. 29, okay, angel light, 29. And 14. Let's see. I also see 529. So some could be Gemini's. Uh, one four Capricorn. Two nine Aquarius, maybe. Five eleven. Tauruses. Maybe. Or someone could be turning 29. I'm attuned to my third eye and psychic abilities. Maybe you've had this since you were young, maybe even a teenager. I'm also seeing 914. So even to leave with Virgo, potentially again, nine, five, or maybe this really uh, came more in tune in September's energy um, on the fifth of the month, something happened, nine, five, because September was spotlighted. Okay. So Libras, if you didn't check out your September messages, maybe there is more communication there for you, especially if you're new for my channel. I did three separate messages like for your zodiac sign, but also maybe your rising sign or moon, however you feel guided. Maybe you definitely have Pisces in your chart if you're watching this one, or you have a Pisces cross watcher or a Pisces watching over you because um, Pisces is very spotlighted. The frog was really in tune for the September monthlies. Um, coming through for a lot, especially with like the, the other animals. If you're really uh, into the animal, um, the mystic, it was the wild mystic oracles. So usually it was about the third video, third or fourth, depending on how many I did for you guys. Okay. I'm just going to mention that because it's being spotlighted. Okay. Angelite is a pale blue stone that connects to with higher chakras to enhance your psychic abilities. It's also used to aid in communication and dream interpretation. This stone is calling for you to connect with your third eye. Your guides have been trying to reach you and connecting with your pineal gland will help to get their messages to you. If you aren't quite sure where or how to hear these messages, think of an easy to understand message that have been sent to you in the past. Bird feathers, wow. So leaving feathers, okay, um, feathers came in August. So the interesting thing for me personally as a Libra too, and as I'm doing this channel, um, and I, like I said, I'm opening up new decks for different people's birthdays or zodiac signs. Um, I'm trying to think, was it, it might've been for Leos, but there was definitely Aries. Um, really pulling in the feathers. I kept getting feathers and ironically, it, it's kind of that, that season has stopped. I'm not pulling the feather, the divine feather messages. So all I'm going to say is if you, especially if you're new to my channel or you didn't listen to those videos, even though we are into your, uh, birthday messages, September and October birthdays, there might be, maybe there's more communication there. Okay. Um, because it's taken me to the bird feathers, right? Or maybe that will be signs. 
right? They're trying to get your attention. <laughs> okay, so, so bird feathers, right? Repeating numbers, butterflies crossing your path are all examples of ways that your guides may have reached out to you previously. Ah, see, you may have been getting those signs. And see, like I was saying, it's kind of stopped now with those. Things are different now. Um, I mean, I'm not, it was just, I don't know how to explain. Maybe they're gonna get your attention through notebooks or journals. Maybe there's journal entries you've already made before or um, through writing and journaling. Maybe automatic writing, I don't know. Maybe something about your dreams. Maybe they're coming through in your dreams time now. Um, that's a little Piscean. Mm. The little butterflies for me pop up, especially the little white ones, especially when it said with the fairies. Because also to me, that's also connecting, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, this is crazy cool though. Okay, I love this so far. I mean, never mind. I'm just going to keep it at this. All right, let's see. So all those were ways, right? Keep your eyes open, all of them, <clears throat> and create space for you guys to communicate with you. You will want to hear what they have to say. So that your guys have something important to tell you. And I was telling you last night, well, last night, I was getting a lot of downloads quickly. And the thing is, I was like, oh, I can't, I'm not going to be able to remember to share these things. But it was like, you know, I I got the, the point across, even though it seems like it might be kind of dark or scary um, with some of that, right? Like I'm saying, like, it was like making peace with, with, with death is overcoming that fear, right? Um, and, and never saying like, go, you know, don't run straight into it, okay? This was the thing, okay, okay. So some of these people, so, Hmm. some of the other ones I kept seeing it really looked like someone was upside down under in the water like someone might have literally drowned and you're not going to believe it so there's this so I brought up this show like a thousand and one ways to die right and then I had never watched this channel before and it just happened to pop up and I was like what is this and it was um there was some, these are kind of these risk takers, YouTubers even. And there was some kid who was getting a whole bunch of names through it that was like, Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. That was the most prominent name that was repeated multiple times, okay? So, I don't know. Maybe they're a Cancer sign or a Gemini or something else like that. I don't know. But... I gotta remember it's called unnamed okay this is a, the the youtube channel is called unnamed and it's literally where it's showing all these tragic ways that people had uh you know mistakes uh, that they pass away you know that is um they literally are almost running into the fearlessness is making them reckless you understand um Wow, they were like, literally, it's more like instead of making peace with it, they were testing the limits. Um, and then there were some just really scary things that it was just like, wow, like, there was more than one that drowned. The name Shannon was coming through too. Um, and there was definitely some Hispanic names. Um, I can't remember right now. I'm getting Perez. I don't know. I don't think that was it. Maybe it was though. Anyways, that's all I want to do right now. That there was another one that was like, um, you know, risk takers, falling, a man falling through ice, going out on on thin ice, skating on thin ice, and falling in. And he was 57, drinking vodka. I, I don't know why I'm telling you. So these are completely different things. It's like, don't go run into the lion's den. I'm getting something like that. Be wise, but 
but also don't live your life in fear. 401, 47. Okay, crazy. So like it says, you will wanna hear what they have to say. The journal prompt, and some of these people were young. Oh my gosh, there's also this, the TikTok challenges um, that, that young people have passed away from. Okay. And it was really stupid. And they're young, like eight-year-old, nine-year-olds. Huh. So, especially if you have children and things like that, watch, watch out for them, watch what they're watching, you know. And who is the one putting it on in the first place? There was one about taking in a whole bunch of Benadryl and then there was one about eating the spicy, spicy food, but the capsaicin was so potent that it caused like a heart attack or something. Um, and then there was another one about a blackout challenge where they're basically freaking trying to black themselves out by basically strangling themselves, okay? Yeah, horrible. What the hell? There was this other thing that they used to do. It was like, it's, it's similar to like a pass out game where you like hyperventilate yourself and a friend like strangles you basically. So you pass out. And then people are having seizures or dying and barfing and well, someone's sick. So I might have to, had something bad to eat or, or overtaken something. That might have been some of the, okay. I don't know. See, I didn't really want to go there, but I got it. I got it. It's for safety first, you know. Wow. The journal prompt says, how do I typically receive signs from my guides? That's your, your journal prompt to ask that question. Wow, okay, that's crazy. I'm gonna go over here to Air Mid. I swear the first thing I saw, I thought it said, uh, I thought it said animal. And that's just the type, the, the font just kind of blurred a little bit. But then I saw, thought it said Air Maiden and it says Air Mid. Air mid. Hmm. She has red hair with the flowers. She's collecting. I'm gonna see, that's the first card in here. Ah, because I'm starting out here, we're gonna look at this really quick. Once again by Jill Pyle. In gratitude, the Spirit Allies Oracle deck has been created with the deepest gratitude, profound reverence, and heartfelt admiration for our spirit allies and higher selves. Thank you for watching over us and illuminating the path for our ascension. We feel your presence and honor the work you're doing to help us grow into our highest selves. Together, we make magic. Hmm. So, also by Sydney, like I was saying, and illustration and design by J.K. Um, hmm. All right, so you can find them, find more magic at goddessprovisions.com and uh, creatives-wannabe.com, <laughs> okay? So, this is beautiful. I like it so far. Okay, the, know the presence of spirit is always within you. Welcome, dear one. Okay, let's start with the prayer and the blessing. Hmm. I guess I should have done that first, huh? Oopsie, it's okay. Co-founder. I see Gemini energy again, six, seven, six, six, even. Welcome, dear one. May you know the presence of spirit is always within you. Feel guided and protect each step of your journey. Trust that you can know your truth is always available when you look inside. Discover the infinite layers of your potential and gifts. Experience the bliss of connecting with higher states of consciousness. Stay in awareness of the invaluable blessing that is, that it is to be a human on earth in this time of awakening. Remember to call upon your spirit allies when you need support. With love, Jill, the co-founder of Goddess Provisions. Hmm. Okay, here we go. You can choose cards that either jump out, okay, all right. Or when you feel a slight energetic pull, 
You can close your eyes and, and pick them. You can shuffle them with your intention. Um, all right, how many did we get? I'm going to see. One, two. Technically, there's five. One, two, three. No, there's six, seven. Okay, what do I got here? Most of them are... I'm just looking at the spreads because I had to go all the way back to the first page. So here we go. One, 115, number one. <coughs> the 15. Hmm. Um, Aramid. I honor nature's ability to heal. The goddess of herbal healers and sacred herbs. Right? Okay. So the, the green witch was in the September messages. Okay. Libras and as well as the froggy and the wild mystic, um, the herbs. Hmm. The journal prompt asked you, what herb do I want to know more about? Maybe there is a special herb that you could research and learn more about its benefits, right? Um, and stuff like that. Or, or any type of herb or plant, um, you know, fruit, veggie, even maybe cactus. I don't know. Allow of uh, aloe vera, even. I don't know. Okay, the goddess of herbal healers and sacred herbs. Ermid is a Celtic goddess. These are the goddess allies in the beginning, who is strongly connected to the tradition of herbalism. It is said that in grieving the loss of her brother, the tears she cried sprouted into a healing herb for every area of the body. Wow. For some of you, then it could be a brother as well. Hmm. Aramid is a reminder of the healing properties of the earth energy. I'm like I was saying, I'm getting a lot of Capricorn in particular, even though there's air sign quality. Maybe Taurus or Capricorn. They could have been young. They could have been 15 or something, even. Or 14. Even four. Huh. Maybe even younger. 18 months. Wow. There's this calm. Okay. The planet has cared for generations and generations before you, and that herbal knowledge is rooted in history and can be traced back thousands of years. Whether you're an experienced herbalist or an... Evening tea drinker. Herbs may have touched your life in one way or another. Your body is in tune with plant medicine, so take some time to connect deeper with them. You can do this by spending time in nature, turning to resources to identify herbs and native plants in your area, or by working with an herbalist or a nat natural path to explore how you could include herbs in your life. Wow. All right, and then we have the Durga. Number four, the Durga, 18, 418, okay? My energy is worth protecting. A deeply revered deity in Hinduism, right? I could tell this is definitely Hinduism, so we're here at the Durga. There's a lion energy, so I'm getting a lot of fire energy with this one. Interesting, so Capricorn down here, little Pisces, Capricorn, fire, Aries, Cancer sign potentially. A um, little bit of Taurus. Hmm. Virgo. Okay. All right. So Durga is referred to as the mother goddess. Her name can be translated to fort in relation to her highly protective nature. Durga is often associated with motherhood and is pictured with eight arms that holds each holds a symbolic object. Okay. Let's look. I, I'm I'm not as familiar with this. There's like there's like millions of different Hindu deities, literally. Like three hundred and thirty million. You're, um I see Neptune or I see like the trident. I recognize that. I see a cup, the lotus flower, looks like a flame, a sword for truth. Nose piercing. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's see. 
Your energy may be feeling drained or fragile, and it is important to protect it. The stories of Durga's fortifying nature can remind of, of how essential it is to remain steady in your boundaries. This doesn't mean that you need to shut everyone out, but rather create conscious relationships with others who will help to lift you up. Determine what values are important to you and search for others who feel the same. Stay vigilant with others who cross your path to be sure that you don't energetically feed them more than you need to. Focus on shifting yourself into your ideal vibration and witness how you attract people who align with the aligned version of you. Your journal prompt is, how can I energetically replenish myself? Maybe working with the crystals and herbs and nature, right? Um... That's, I mean, that's what I kind of do. I'm, I'm, ginger is important here. I'm getting some ginger. I ate a little piece of ginger. <laughs> like the pickled ginger you would have with like California rolls or something. Hmm. What's under there? What's under there? Obsidian. Okay. Okay. We'll get into those later. Okay. I don't want to go too much because I've already given you guys tons of messages, especially with your second video and the first um, I'm going to finish it off with white buffalo. What are we on time? 50 minutes, y'all, already. Wow. I'm going to finish it off with white buffalo and um, from this deck. And then a little bit of Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, maybe I'll grab a little bit of the red, those little tiny red tarot and see. I'm going to grab something on the other side. On the other side. So the red side is going to have all the red cards. So we got the water sign energies the cups, right? And uh, the pentacles. So water and earth. Okay. Um, on the other side, I'm going to finish this with the white buffalo first. I see the mushrooms there. I see the magic and peyote. Oh, okay. Interesting. As I'm flipping through the book. All right. 47 and 64. So this was what was underneath the deck, right? Uh, Libra's I can manifest anything. Hmm. Healing. Across the plains, white buffalo stands again, proud against the sweeping winds and wispy grasses. Honored by the Lakota, white buffalo first appeared as the white buffalo calf woman. Oh, yes. I, I am familiar with the white buffalo calf woman. A prophet and the teacher of the seven sacred ways to pray. Hmm. The white buffalo is a teacher of the importance of staying grounded when thinking of what you desire. While manifestation is a power that you hold, remember to focus on what you what will truly make you happy in this lifetime. White buffalo reminds you of your personal power when you are rooted in your beliefs and remain humble and appreciative for what has already been presented to you. There is much available to you, but to remain worthy and aligned to receive those gifts is up to you and your spiritual practice. So how interesting about really staying grounded, right? Um, when you're, so manifesting is creating your dreams, right? So you got to have a goal and a plan. It starts with writing it down. starts with having an idea, uh, um, right? And that's how it begins. But then, and then you do the research one step at a time. Well, you know, you know what I mean? And then you put the plan into action and then show gratitude. Hmm. All right. Journal prompt asks you, 64 and 47, in what ways can I stay grounded in my manifestation practices? Hmm. 1110. I'm getting some Scorpio, Aries, maybe Gemini potentially with that as well. Okay, that is your birthday messages from the Spirit Allies. We will be using this once again uh, in your October monthly messages. We'll see if new cards come forth. Like I said, I'm going to grab a little bit of these little red cards and sprinkle them out here and see what we got. Oh, that's quite a bit. Oh, okay. I see the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you Libras dealing with a Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Someone's trying to emotionally detach and walk away from. Oh, there's the Ace of Cups. I might have flipped it upside down. This is someone we need to work on self-love potentially or uh, new love. <laughs> okay. 
This is love. Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Let's see this one. Four of Pentacles. Like I said, I've I've I probably should mix them up, but right now I I, I didn't anticipate doing this. This is something new. I didn't even think I would be able to, but I was like, hey, let's give it a shot. And uh here we are. <laughs> So someone's been holding on to someone, maybe, so this could be vice versa. Maybe someone's been holding on to an earth sign, feminine, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay. I'm seeing the, I'm seeing a lot of Virgo or why I say Virgo. There was definitely Virgo. Um, either way, I can't read these cards upright or because if it's the other direction, it's finally releasing and letting go emotion. Letting go of the emotions of it. This person. Maybe this. Um, and even maybe being generous and giving. It's like there's either holding on. I think maybe this person's holding on. Are you holding on to this person? Okay. Hoping for new love even. Maybe self-love. Grandfather. Archetype. Okay. Okay. Let's see, I see the pentacles once again, maybe juggling finances, multitasking, maybe even purchasing some crystals or something like that. Uh, we have the two and three. Oh, let me see. Five of cups, but I can tell this one's in reverse. So this is trying to come out of depression and sadness. I'm seeing here that if there is a sense of wanting a reconciliation with somebody, because I'm seeing the three of cups in reverse. So I'm saying, you know, maybe there, you need to take time alone for yourself, not go to some celebration or party. Or this person isn't coming to like your get together, your birthday party. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Feminine. She appears upright, but I can't tell with the, these cards. That's the one thing. I can't tell which direction they're in. Some of the cards I can. Nine of Cups in reverse. So someone's not getting what they were hoping for. Five, nine. Some big changes. Maybe someone was really hoping someone there would be a reunion or a reconciliation with this person. Uh, and they're tr that would really help them come out of feeling like this little froggy. There's two different froggies. Mm. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So the Ace of Cups is over here too. So I'm really seeing this person was ho really hoping for, um, you know, reinvigorated love, um, a celebration, a party. But I'm seeing it in reverse, meaning maybe someone needs to focus on themselves. And that's why, and and even their pentacles, maybe you're going to give it, receive this gift. You're the person getting a gift or receiving a gift from a water sign, Okay. And then I'm seeing juggling money and finances, right? Potentially. Let's see. All right, let's finish this up with a message on the book. All right, here's the Edgar Allan Poe, Great Tales and Poems. Uh, it's 17 euros, vintage classic. The Telltale Heart, of course, the Ravens in here. We're just going to open it up. 170 and 171, William Wilson. Okay, you scoundrel. <laughs> Wilson. <clears throat> okay. You shall not dog me unto death. A cursed villain. Ooh. I'm seeing some Aries Libra. Aries. How interesting. I'm going to go back one page. Oxford, Egypt, Paris. I fled in vain. Mr. Wilson. Hmm. William Wilson. I grew perfectly sober in an instant. I'm going back further. This must be a story. I don't know this one. Yeah. I, I just wanted to see where it starts. We're kind of in the middle of it. William Wilson. <clears throat> what say of it? What say conscious grim? That specter in my path. Chamberlain's Pharaonida. I don't know that. Okay, I'm just going to bring it. I'm going to read that first. Uh, wow, I see. Whoa, this is crazy. Okay, I'm going to read this. Finish this up. What are we on time? 59, 23. Someone could be 59. I also see 53. I'm seeing Aries, Leo, Gemini is coming in with this 
Libras, potentially. <clears throat> and of course, Capricorn and Taurus. Let me call myself for the present, William Wilson, WW. The fair page now lying before me need not be sullied with my real appellation. This has been already too much of an object for the scorn, for the horror, for the destitution of my race. To the uttermost regions of the globe have not the indigenous winds brooded its unparalleled infamy. O oh, outcast of all outcasts most abandoned, to earth art thou not forever dead, to its honors, to its flowers, and to its golden aspirations. A cloud, dense, dismal, and limitless, does it not hang eternally between thy hopes and heaven? I would not, if I could, here or today, embody a record of my later years of unspeakable misery and unpardonable crime. This epoch, epoch, these years later, took unto themselves a sudden elevation in turpitude, whose origin alone it is my present purpose to assign. Men usually grow base by degrees. From me, in an instant, all virtue dropped bodily as a mental. A mantle? From comparatively trivial wickedness, I passed with the stride of a giant into more than the enormities of an elegobolus. What chance? What one event brought this evil thing to pass? Bear with me while I relate. Death approaches, and the shadow which foreruns him has thrown a softening influence over my spirit. I long, in passing through the dim valley, for the sympathy I had nearly said for the pity of my fellow men. I would fain have them believe that I have been, in some measure, the slave of circumstances beyond human control. I wish I, I would wish them to seek out for me in the details I am about to give. Some little oasis. Okay, the oasis was spotlighted, especially in the first video. Oasis, the band even, I think it's Noel, right? And I got Live Forever. Maybe Wonderwall. I don't know. What's the other one? Champagne Supernova. The band Oasis. Something about the Oasis. Sometimes aren't those like gas stations or something even? At like a truck stop? I don't know. The Oasis. Hmm. Some little Oasis of fatally amid a wilderness of error. I would have them allow. What they cannot refrain from allowing. That although temptation may have while existed as great, man was never thus, at least, tempted before, certainly never thus fell. And it is therefore that he has never thus suffered. Have I not indeed been living in a dream? Am I not now dying a victim to the horror and the mystery of the wildness of all sublunary visions? I am the descendant of a race whose imaginative and easily excitable temperament has at all times rendered them remarkable. And in my earliest infancy, I gave evidence of having fully inherited the family character. As I advanced in years, it was more strongly developed, becoming, for many reasons, a cause of serious disquietude to my friends and of positive injury to myself. I grew self-willed, addicted to the wildest caprices and a prey to the most ungovernable passions, weak-minded and beset with the con constitutional infirmities akin to my own. My parents could do but little to check the evil propensities which distinguished me. Some feeble and ill-directed efforts resulted in complete failure on their part, and of course, in total triumph on mine. Thenceforward, my voice was a household law. And in an age when few children have abandoned their leading strings, I was left to the guidance of my own will and became, in all but name, the master of my own actions. Elizabethan house, England, Gothic. All right, that is where, so I read those first few. Now I'm gonna go onto this page so we have a little understanding of who this William is, okay? Whoever this, I'm gonna start with this scoundrel. I said in a voice husky with rage, while every syllable I uttered seemed as new fuel to my fury. Scoundrel, imposter, accursed villain, you shall not. You shall not dog me unto death. Follow me or I stab you where you stand. And I broke my way from the ballroom into a small antechamber adjoining, dragging him 
unresistingly with me as I went. Upon entering, I thrust him furiously from me. He staggered against the wall while I closed the door with an oath and commanded him to draw. And commanded him to draw. <laughs> he hesitated, but for an instant, then with a slight sigh, drew in silence and put himself upon his defense. The contest was brief indeed. I was frantic with every species of wild excitement and felt within my single arm the energy and power of a multitude. In a few seconds, I forced him by sheer strength against the wainscoting and thus getting him at mercy, plunged my sword with brute ferocity repeatedly through and through his bosom. What? I'm skipping uh, down to the bottom of this page and then I'm finishing this, okay? It was Wilson, but he spoke no longer in a whisper. And I could have fancied that I myself was speaking while he said, you have conquered and I yield. Yet henceforward art thou also dead, dead to the world, to heaven and to hope. In me didst thou exist and in my death, See by this image, which is thine own, how utterly thou hast murdered thyself. <gasps> that is the final page of that. The mystery of Marie Roguet. The murders in the Rue Morgue. Wow. Roguet. Rod Roguet. Roguet. Lutheranism. Protestants. Marie Cecilia Ro Rogers. A young girl was murdered in the vicinity of New York, and although her death occasioned an intense and long enduring excitement, the mystery attending it had remained unsolved at the period when the present paper was written, published in November of 1842. Mary Rogers. Wow. Fascinating. Edgar Allan Poe, Great Tales and Poems. I feel like that was really telling you uh, if you feel so guided to draw, um, <laughs> draw yourself in the journal. There's drawings, doodling even, I don't know. Hmm. Wow, Libras, this was so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed. Um, these ones are always so much fun as well. And Man, like I was saying, if you didn't watch me, the unveiling of it, it, it is magical just seeing these little, the Diary of the Wimpy Kid, two of them right on the same thing. And then ironically, and I said it on this, you know, for the spirit allies, and this talks about journaling and, uh, yeah, so about September and then, uh, January and New Year's, the last straw. Wow, 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 wow. So how fascinating is that, Libras? I'm so excited. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to clean this up, clear this out, and move on to getting your monthly for October out. And once again, happy, happy birthdays. I hope this is, you know, um, been entertaining, giving you clarity, guidance, whatever it is you need for your birthday. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.